Hi, it's Marco from Moose Marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine, and welcome to Punchline Talks. Today I'm at Gloucestershire Airport, Cheltenham is down there, we've got Gloucester over here, and there's Jason... Ivy. Ivy, <laughs> Jason, <laughs> Operations Director of the, of the airport. Great to see you, Jason. Thanks for inviting me today, but why have you invited Punchline here? Well, hi, Mark. Uh, thanks very much for taking the time to come and see us. We've got some pretty exciting news. We've got a half a million pound investment programme for the airport predominantly around air traffic control, so I want you to come in and have a look, see what we're doing. I know you're a big fan of the airport and a big supporter in the past. Meet some of the staff and, uh, and get to sort of see it and feel it yourself. Okay, great yeah. stuff. So I know that we're going to meet Chris, aren't we, as well? Yeah, this is Chris Bryan. If we could get in, if we could get in. Okay, okay. We, yeah. Can I get past? Hey, Chris, yeah, really nice to meet you. Chris, Mark. Thanks ever what so much you, for okay. agreeing to show us around today. So, okay. it's how big a building is this for a start and how many people work here? Uh, we've got about 14 in total, but any one time there's probably three air traffic controllers um, and a, an air traffic controller system. Okay, and it's, it's not being funny, the system's quite old, isn't it? That's, it is that's old. the main and problem. Hence, hence the investment, yeah. So it's uh, safety critical equipment that needs needs replacing, it's sort of time expired. And so sort of, it marries up with what we're doing with uh, the new senior leadership team being on site. Okay. So there's a whole uh, suite of things that's going to happen. You've got a whole new new team now, haven't you? We so have. so who have we got new and they're working for the airport? Okay, so we've got um, uh, Brian Rawlins, Head of Operations. We've got, obviously, Chris Bryan, um, Manager of Traffic Services. We've got Andrew Madigan, Head of Finance. We've got uh, David Moore, uh, Head of, uh, sorry, Property Director. Um, and we've got Lisa, Lisa Milden, head of, uh, head of People, or HR in all language. I think that's pretty much it for the team. Yeah. All right, and most of you are Welsh, which I like straight away. Well, yeah, <laughs> so, so let's have a quick look at this. What room's here, Chris? This is the briefing room. Meetings, uh, store equipment occasionally, and you can see over there there's some kitchen detritus as we're just about to fit a brand new kitchen for the staff upstairs, which is a nice feature. Um, so we're just in the process of emptying that. Just Phil, our engineer. Hey Phil, very nice to meet you. Come through to uh, Phil's domain, which is the engineering room. Okay, so well, straight off the bat, you can see it's uh, it's pretty old kit, isn't it? It looks like it's from the 1970s. It's back to the future stuff. It is. Yeah, certainly 40 years old. That's a minute. Voice switches, recorders. There's all sorts of technical equipment in here, which Phil looks after. Should we go and have a look upstairs? Yeah. Please follow me. So how long have you worked here now, Chris? Uh, all of five weeks. Oh, right. Okay. So, so I'm a newbie, but it's been very exciting. Very challenging time ahead. We've got some projects on the go, which is uh, really interesting. So this is the kitchen and restroom area. Again, as you can see, it's a little bit. Oh. Smells nice, though. Smells and, uh, like shepherd's pipe. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just like, need a bit of TLC. So yeah, in the next couple of weeks, it's all going to be brand new. Oh, there's a little plane coming in as well. I think somebody might be having their lunch in here. So okay, we'll. we'll... Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, can we have a cookie? That's a nice little room, isn't it? Oh, hello, mate. Sorry, disturbing. Disturbing Ian having his lunch. Again, just to sort of use it as a bit of a storage area. Okay, we see the business park over there as well. So, oh, sorry, disturbing. Thank right, you ever so much. So we're not a 24-hour operation. We're sort of 8:30 in the morning until about 7:30 in the evening. Now you are so one of the. You don't need sleeping facilities or anything like that. It's just a kitchen and restroom area. Now you are yeah. one of the busiest airports in the country, aren't you? How yeah. many sort of movements do you have a, a, well, a year? Last year, what's going? Yeah, yeah, we did 16,000 movements last year. Well, wow, okay. Anyways, at one point, I think we were the fourth busiest in the UK. Wow. Okay. So a, lot those, a lot of those are train flights, but it's still it's very very complex for the air traffic controllers here. Yeah. And what type of flights are they mainly? Is it helicopter flights? What type of businesses do you have here? Lots of helicopter flights, lots of helicopter training. Well, in a couple of weeks, we've got the Cheltenham Festival, and then it's yeah. going to be a helicopter city. And we're back and forth to the race course all day, every day for four days. Uh, lots of light aircraft doing VFR flights and IFR training. Lots of business jets in and out. Um, yeah, and an engineer as well, MRO, maintenance repair and overhaul. Okay, I love the way you got into the techie speak then, Chris. I didn't understand yeah, what yeah, you were saying for a second. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's have a look upstairs then, because I'm really excited to go there. Oh, this oh, is, a, is this? Yeah, this is. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, you got Jason running around. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hello there, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry to disturb you. I'll, just sh I'll shake your head anyway. Sorry, what's your name yeah. again? I'm Damon Knight. I'm the interim Matt, so Chris is taking over from me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brian nice. Rawlings, head of operations. Hey, Brian, very nice to meet you as well. Okay, right. Are you Welshman? No. No, well, should, no, maybe should be. No. Okay. You can't, not, you can't get that lucky. Oh. One day. So another nice little, <laughs> nice little room there. Okay, right. sorry, chap. Okay, right, we're up here. So Sorry, I'm surprised that you all crew. Right, okay, so 
how, how high are we at the moment, would you say, in the actual air traffic control now? 30 feet, something like that? Yes, yeah, not excessively high. It's yeah. not a particularly high tower. It's yeah, about 40 feet long, to be sure, actually, of the exact figure. Oh, um, so this is a briefing room. Controllers and NATSARs will, or s support staff will come in here prior to any shift and find out and stuff about um, new procedures, new meteorological reports, what the weather's going to do on the day. So this is the briefing room. Okay. And then we go through yeah. here. We have to be a little bit quieter when we go upstairs. Okay. It's an operational tower. Absolutely. Well said. Okay, here we go. There's Castle Air Academy then. There's Air Ops. Yesterday, and Fee and Charlotte. Charlotte is the approach controller, Fee is the tower controller, and Andy is the, is the uh, air traffic services assistant. Great view of the main runway 0927 and across runway 0422. We had a third runway, or technically a fifth and sixth runway because each runway is two way. Uh, but that uh, one just, contact briefing, two, two, just three, over please. a year ago. And it's not one he's only used Thank for taxiing right. aircraft now. We've also got a grass strip just the other side yeah. of the 0422 side there. Short, short, uh, also 2204. And how, how long is the runway and what type of sort of is there a particular size of planes you, you can take? Yeah, we only accommodate light and small aircraft so. Your holiday charter 737s and that, we wouldn't take that, but um, certainly small business jets and lots of light aircraft, twin light aircraft, that sort of stuff, and obviously lots of helicopters. And how busy are we today? Not particularly busy because there's a very strong crosswind. You can see, looking at the windsock down there, it is favouring, obviously, the aircraft land might take off into wind, so it's very much favouring runway 22, but that's a shorter runway. So it's only so many aircraft can land on that runway. And it might sound a silly question, but why is it so important to have two Hello. runways? Oh, well, it's prevailing wind is the main reason. Oh, Obviously, right. if there's a crosswind and you've only got one runway, your options right. are very limited. Mo a lot of aircraft won't be able to land or take off. Because, because we probably do a lot of train flights here. It's perfect for that. Um, that's that's right. Okay, well, I thought we'd better go downstairs and we'll see you at the way because obviously they're very busy as well. We're kind of running out of time. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey guys, thanks ever so much for that. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Mark. And we'll catch you very soon. My pleasure. Cheers. Thanks for talking to Punchline Talks. Right. Bye. Cheers. Thanks.